GI sickness so they have more time Honorable. to recover and get back to work safely and in health. Honourable Member for Sarnia Lambton. Mr. Speaker, analysts are saying that home heating prices in some places will increase by 300 per cent this winter. That's triple, triple, triple. The Prime Minister's planned increases to carbon tax and payroll tax is a cold-hearted action. The Liberals are literally freezing Canadians out. Is it just inflation, or will this government cut their planned taxes? Yeah. The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think Canadians expect responsible leaders across all the members of this House need to address both the affordability issue and the climate crisis. We are certainly working very hard to address affordability issues through doubling the GST tax credit and a range of other things. I do find it very interesting, though, Mr. Speaker, that during the last election campaign, every member sitting in the Conservative Party campaigned on the basis of putting into place a carbon tax. And so this, this conversion on the road to Jerusalem is very interesting indeed. <laughs> The Honourable Member for Halliburton for the Lakes Brock. Speaker, the Liberals' out of control spending and tax hikes are increasing the cost of everything. Food prices in remote Indigenous communities are two and a half times higher than the national average. And wow. rising fuel prices are just compounding inflation's economic toll on families absolutely everywhere. While the minister monitors the situation, families are struggling with food and heat this winter. So when will this government cancel their tax hikes and cap their spending? Great question. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, let's be very clear. When the Conservatives talk about payroll taxes, they're talking about EI, a rate which is lower today than it was when the Leader of the Opposition was in charge of the file. They're talking about the Canadian Pension Plan. We came together with Premiers to strengthen the Canadian Plan and make sure that there was more money in the pockets of seniors when they retired, right when they needed it, and the Conservatives are trying to take that away. And when they're talking about carbon pricing, they're talking about a revenue-neutral plan that makes, puts more money in the pockets of 8 out of 10 Canadian families. Member for Cumberland, Colchester. Oh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Certainly, Canadians don't believe their plan to tax us more is revenue-neutral. Energy costs are expected to rise by double or, sadly, triple this winter. Yeah. This is a tremendous burden for Atlantic Canadians. We are already suffering from the cost of living crisis, and of course, Hurricane Fiona has taken a just inconceivable toll on Atlantic Canadians. Why does this Prime Minister want to punish Atlantic Canadians by tripling, yes, I said tripling, tripling the carbon tax, and will they agree to end it? Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Rural Development. Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank the Honourable Mention for his reference to rural and especially to Atlantic Canadian and, and Quebec Canadians as we did fear the brunt of Fiona. I can tell you that the federal government is there to help with a disaster financial assistance arrangement between the provinces with another $300 million administered through OCOA to help the agencies and the, and the communities and those that are falling through the cracks. We will be there for Atlantic Canadians and Quebec Can Canadians as they battle these storms. That's why we need to address climate change. Ask anybody in my hometown of Port of Basque, if they believe in climate change, they certainly do, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Peter.